Oh, oh, go, payday, go. I'll run up and take all your clout like Dennis the Menace. I will send that rubber band snapping. I'm smooth on the edges, there's no overlapping. Beat the pussy up, take it down for now. What's going on? Obeasy from obeasybeats.com, and today we are interviewing Pluto Han, one of the first Canadian rappers. The, the first Canadian rapper that I ever came across, like, ever. So, yeah. my real shit, we, we go back a little bit. We go we go back a bit. What's going right. on, bro? How's things going with yourself? Hey, not much, man. Yeah, we talk to each other every day. You know, don't let them fool you. We, we homies in real life. <laughs> I did my first uh, my first ever song with, with Obeasy Beats, man. Yeah, real talk. No, it was good, man. It was good. Some good stuff. It was definitely some good stuff. I'm definitely going to get some more. Definitely gonna oh, get yeah. soon. It's gonna be sick. Okay. Be- so, bro, tell us what age did you merge into music? Slash yeah. music industry. Um, I guess it's always been like music's always been a part of my life and stuff like that. I always listen to like oldies with my grandparents growing up. Elvis Presley yeah. and stuff like that. But I really started mm-hmm. playing music like probably when I was twelve, dude. I started playing acoustic guitar, bass guitar any kind of guitar you can think of <laughs> okay. but actually i know how to play about like probably like 20 instruments man respect respect name them all right now okay i was gonna hit you with some of the top <laughs> it's all good it's all good okay so way back when this is when you started eh oh yeah it's been a long musical journey man i've only been in hip-hop for just about over a year now so what did you do before this then? Were you in a band or something or like? You know, yeah, like, I, used to, uh, <clears throat> I used to do like screamo music, you know, with all my homies in high school. We had a band, uh, Monsters Among Men. It's pretty dope. But uh, it never went anywhere, you know. People just couldn't link up and stuff like that. And that's probably the hardest thing that I came across was trying to get people together to jam and make music. So that's kind of why I straight to hip hop and playing acoustic by myself. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you completely. I do get you. Okay. So, where were you when you decided that you wanted to be like an artist or musician slash rapper, is what I'm saying? Any one of those you can pick, whatever you want to say. Um, <clears throat> I, don't know. I think the first time, the first time that I really realized I wanted to do music, damn, man, it's hard. Just listening to Nirvana actually in my friggin' grandparents' basement, the place I've been my entire life, you know? Crazy. And that just got to me. I was like, this guy is like so sad, but he's changing the world in such a beautiful way, you know? And that really got me thinking like, you can do a lot of things by just changing the world, by making music, man. No, this is very true, you know, this is very true. Okay, so oh, yeah. I was gonna well, I was gonna say the next question is you know who's your most inspirational slash listen to artist when you were growing up? Mm. But uh, I guess we kind of got one of them there, I guess. So. Oh yeah, shout out Kurt, um, <clears throat> Kurt Cobain, definitely Nirvana, friggin' um, Chris Cornell from Audio Slave and uh, Stone Temple Pilots. <laughs> Not Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, I can't even get it on my head. Black Hole Sun Soundgarden. Okay. my camera went a little bit on focus here let me fix this yeah anything alternative like that um pearl jam led zeppelin and then nice. hip-hop artists what really got me into hip-hop was like uh i don't even know i go way back like old school r and 90s r&b and shit like that like um diddy and all that kind of stuff but i don't really have a favorite hip-hop artist okay so you've got quite a variety of different selection there about yeah, I don't know. If I had to pick a favorite hip hop though, definitely like Puya or Ski Mask, Triple X. It's kind of that kind of stuff. They inspire me a lot lately. Okay, no respect when I get you. I can understand why as well to a degree. Oh, yeah. It's very it's those people who change the world, man. Without, like, you know, they want to make it a better place, dude. They're idols for a reason. No, that's real. No, that's real. So, what would you say you're most passionate about in regards to music? Um, passionate. What I'm most passionate about. Well, like I just recently had like a spiritual awakening. So like before I was trying to just hit people with like, um, dancing vibes, like, you know, like big upbeat trap kind of music sounding, but, uh, now I've taken a kind of alternative route, but, um, my passion behind that is just to actually like reach out to people who need 
that kind of, we need to hear that in that time, you know? There's always people okay. who can just say one thing too and it changes the world and that's really what I'm trying to go for now. Yeah, no, I completely understand that. I completely understand that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> the motherfucking world a hug. So if you see that, send me that friend request and I'll give you a hug, man. It's, it's going to be okay. That's it. That's it. I don't want to mention no names, but I know a couple of people in Canada that need some big hugs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they need a their their bottom smacked or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they got their knickers twisted, right? Yeah, real shit. <laughs> not. Uh, we them. don't talk about Stacy. We don't talk about no. Stacy. No, we don't talk about none of them. It is what it is. Yeah, th those hoes are irrelevant now. That's it. That's it. So, why do you make the music that you make? You know what I'm saying? Um. It's cause like there's this, this thing inside me, man. Every time I'm sitting down for a nine to five job cooking, you know, I've worked in five star restaurants and shit like that. And it's like, it's just, I don't wanna be doing that. I wanna be doing my own thing. My my weapon is my voice, but it's also something that I can heal things with. Yeah. And in my life, there's been so much turmoil that like, the fact that I can even be here and spreading a positive message now is, it's it's blessed, man. And that's all I wanna do. I just want to change the world with one message and just spread love, man, because we're all fucking here for a reason, man. And it's not just a fight, you know? It's not the Man, we could get real deep in this conversation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like, well, we saved that for another time, man. Yeah, that's real, though. That's real. No, I get it. I do get it. It makes a lot of sense, bro. It really does. It really, really does. So... <sighs> What kind of rituals or routines do you have before, you know, you head into the studio or like writing, do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay, so like writing. My biggest ritual, right? I'm sure not everybody, people might do this, but like I just wake up and I go to my computer and I say, I've had it with being fucking sad today already, so I'm going to write a song. Yeah. And that's all it comes down to, man, is that primal emotion in the moment that you can relay through a microphone yeah no i get you i get you i get you completely yeah okay. man and what about before going to the studio then or when you um, get to the studio do you hit a bomb like do you do you meditate um, do you just get in the zone do you practice a little bit do you some freestyle it's, like what's what's it's crap? Been a hell of different man i've gone through some <laughs> stages so like back when i first met mikey bars recorded our first songs i would just get yeah. stoned dabs with bars you know and fucking go and hit that studio or thing but then lately after that um it actually turned into me like just popping xanax bars and percocets and trying to write these songs oh, that are in, yeah that are in like the zone of those drugs you know so if you look back on my xep a lot of the shit that hasn't made it is because i wrote that shit just fucked up off on on drugs man so a lot of it don't make sense but it's just got yeah. that vibe that's what I was trying to channel. Vibes through drugs. And then I realized I'm going to kill myself. So I ain't trying to little peep myself, you know. I get it. I get it. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't, Don't do, do drugs. drugs. Seriously, like, man. You know, people do these things getting TV. fucked up because of drugs. You know what I'm saying? You're losing yeah. good people. Shit, man. You go back to the 70s. Jimi Hendrix and all these other fucking people. And these musicians have fucking died from drugs. Just Everybody. Me. Look what happened to Mac, man. Well, it's fucked. It is fucked. Thing. Seriously, if you're gonna use drugs, not that I'm trying to promote drug use or anything like that, but use in moderation. Do you know what I'm saying? Moderation. Like, yeah. Overboard. You know what I'm That's saying? the thing. That's it. Just People scared. always tend to go off, man. And if you know somebody's struggling with drugs right now, man, don't be afraid to give them a hand, man. Help them out because you right. know they're struggling by themselves. No, I'm telling you, man. Like, I'm, I'm not even gonna get into that, but like, look. It's definitely, true, bro. definitely listen to what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real. It is real. Like it's it's a big thing, especially nowadays. It's promoted by fucking mainstream media to go out and fucking do drugs, wear fancy fucking clothes, and all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just talk shit. Exactly, man. You don't, get caught. Up in just don't like. like yeah, <laughs> you make a big mistake, man. You don't want to see yourself on drugs. That's the thing. <clears throat> no, you don't. <clears throat> you don't even want to go down that path. Bro. So, man, no. it's fucking scary as shit sometimes. You don't even want to do that to yourself. But anyway, look, let's let's move on. 
So are you self-taught or were you mentors in regards to, you know, writing or whatever else, you know what I'm saying? Um, nobody's ever taught me anything in music. I've taught myself guitar from day one by myself. I don't really know how to sing in key, but I try. Um, my writing is probably my most powerful thing, man. That's where it all comes out. Okay, okay. I can, I can appreciate that, man. The pen is my ear than the sword. That's yeah, man. Yeah, that's real as well. That's exactly. real. Exactly. Okay, it's just what it is. But, um, okay, look, so are there any resources that you use that have helped you advance in your career? to help you gain views or fans or was there any particular strategy that works for you that may work for up and coming artists or like, you know, new artists to the game? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, like strategy wise. Yeah, I've yeah, to, I guess so. Yeah. Bit of source. Bit, bit wise, I've tried to build something local, you know, <laughs> that's what I wanted to establish first. I tried to go local and hit everyone around me so I could establish a, a tiny a testing following, you know, and then yeah. try to go out from there. But like um, strategies when it comes to like promotion and stuff, I'm just getting into that now. I'm just getting right into that. I've gone to the point right now where I'm making around $5 every day through streams. So I'm trying to double that and put from promo behind it, you know, so I can turn that 150 bucks a month into fucking $3,000 a month and we can start living, you know. But yeah. that's something I'm trying to get into right now. No, I get you. Respect, man. Respect. There's a lot of different things you can do in regards to, you know what I'm saying, promotion and different things like this. Like, real talk. It just depends where you want to go with it. It's oh, all hell money. yeah. People got to understand if you're not willing to invest that money into promotion or whatever else. Unless you've got like a thousand people who are going to be posting <laughs> stuff every day. Yeah. You know, then you need to spend money on Facebook ads. And if you don't want to spend money on Facebook ads, then you even need to decide what the fuck you're doing. Like, in this in this industry because yeah. it's just one of them you're gonna have to spend money to make money it's it's like important. it really is bro like that's real yeah, if you want to make money you gotta spend a bit i believe that's called your uh cash flow that's it no you're not wrong you're not wrong you're not wrong my friend i'm telling you like i wouldn't have all the equipment that i have here now today if i didn't spend money yeah he's got the swivel over there hell yeah yeah that's it it's real it's real. Let's level up, man. You leveled up in a huge year too, man. Man, in a year, a lot's happened. But anyway, this isn't about obesity. This is about <laughs> so let's let's crack on. Let's crack on. So, <clears throat> what would you say is your best musical quality, or the best musical quality? Yeah, the best musical quality about you. Do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. The best musical quality, I think. I definitely too between my writing and my endurance because like there's so many you can shoot down my music as much as people want man but I'm still gonna make music I'm still gonna keep making it better and it's gonna get better every time man yeah that's one of my biggest things my endurance I can take that and keep going but my writing I think a lot of people have told me is like my strongest thing is my ability to relay emotions on the paper Okay, I think that's good, man. I think that the whole thing of, you know, being a lyricist and actually expressing something and it can touch a person, do you know what I'm saying, really makes sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense mm -hmm. to be a good or strong quality, do you know what I'm saying, in regards to this. That's great. In general. I've always done it. I've written short stories, <laughs> poems my entire life. I mean, yeah. hip-hop too, I guess. Sorry, that's my kids upstairs. They're just having a blast. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good bro. So... What do you wish you knew now in the music industry when you started out? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's a doozy. It's a real doozy. Damn, what I wish I knew now? Uh, I don't know. Just You know what it would be? It would just be not to be afraid to open up, man. A lot of people, they just, they just they're afraid to open up and let their true colors show through, man. But the sooner you can crack those walls, break through those walls in your head, you're gonna become the real you, man. And I think that's what it is. Is I wish I would have, I wish I would have put myself on that microphone sooner than I did, you know? Yeah, no, of course, no, of course. I definitely agree with you. That's the thing nowadays. It's all fear, it's all fear and control. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you. Yeah, to, man. I don't want you to be the best version of yourself that you can be. You know what I'm saying? 
And it's pretty exactly. stupid as well, man. I just, you just got to be you. You got to be real. You got to be confident, fearless. Fuck, you got to go out there, fucking grab it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, go out there and get it. Depression, fuck anxiety, man. You got to get through it, man. Oh, no. Pick yourselves up. No, it's real. I can definitely agree with you on that one. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So, how do you feel about your music and the way that people engage with it? Hmm. It's been all right so far. I've gotten lots of positive reviews. I've gotten some negative reviews too. You know, like me, you know, of all people, Obizi. Me and you have what four diss tracks after us now? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It is what it is. What can I say? You know, like we make noise, man. Well, that's it. Make that's it. it. And that's what I think is the response that I get to my music, man. Is like. That's the best thing is seeing people love it or seeing people fucking hate it or seeing people just mad jealous, you know? Yeah. It's like crazy. You never think that you get to that level. I only have 111 Spotify listeners, but yeah. I still get all these mixed reviews on my Facebook. It's one of them, mate. You can't be everybody's cup of tea, do you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're going to, somebody's going to hate, do you know what I'm saying? It is just what it oh, is. Yeah. But that's the free no, promotion. Is, that's what people forget. It's like, why Why do people always like, they trash your music and they talk shit about your music and stuff like this. And they'll even share it out to social media. Do you know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah. what is they're sharing your stuff for free. You don't have to pay for that. And yeah, so what if they don't like it? They must have put it on 20 times on repeat and fucking picked points out on different bits and things it's like this. It's just like, you know, you're crazy. You're like a super it's secret fan. Rhythm, yeah. You're a top fucking fan you're a fanboy to fuck you got like, the face real, you know what I'm saying <laughs> <clears throat> it's real though oh, it's real. yeah it's true bro we've been through it all man but it's good we still hear strong a year later man trust me man I ain't going nowhere I don't think you are either to be honest that's it gotta oh hell yeah gotta keep moving with it okay so look do you have any projects going on at the moment and if you do how do you feel that they're going Hmm, my projects I have right now I have a library of probably about 50 unreleased songs and it's like yo, yo. like yeah. which ones do I want to put out which ones do I want to put out which ones are ready? but um right now I have no coming EPs or anything like that going on I'm working on that cypher for you that uh pass the flame pass the flame Six Canadian artists, one UK grind beat, produced by OBZ. It's going to be sick. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. A couple of my favorites are on there with me, too, man. It's going to be freaking lit. B-dubs is amazing. Sagato, amazing. Jeez. Uh, but the, but the, uh, I don't know. I'm just dropping singles. Say that again, sorry. I'm just dropping singles right now, like uh, <laughs> just songs at a time, but... Every time I do drop a song on my Spotify, I drop one on my SoundCloud too. So I drop two songs at a time. But um, I try to go. I don't know. I don't know when my next release is. Like, like I don't know. I don't know when I want to drop it. It could be any day. It could be any day. Keep checking my page. That's it. On to the next thing then. This is going to be quite valuable. Tell these people where they can find you on the social media. Do you know what I'm saying? Let them know. Uh -huh. Got you. Yeah, if you want to look me up, my uh, I'm on Facebook at Pluto Hand. I'm on uh, Spotify, Pluto Hand. Look me up, and then uh, SoundCloud as well. I just went back with SoundCloud. Look me up at Pluto Hand and uh, IG at Pluto Hand nine hundred five. And and yeah, that's about it. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm on. I'm not on no Twitter, nothing like that. But um, yeah, if you guys, you guys know where to find me. There you go. There you go. So. Is there anything else, anything else you want to say to the public? You know what I'm saying? Whilst we're, we're still on, because we are just about to wrap this up. I know. Guys, hop on that wave, this Pluto hand wave before it's too late, man. I want to be able to contact each one of you personally and be able to talk to my fans, man. That's I don't real. know. I want to be able to help y'all. So check me out. If you guys like anime, love being a fucking grown-ass kid, let's get this. Hey, real talk, real talk. Nothing wrong with a bit of anime here and there, do you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. 
been a big year for me, dude, with these Niagara Music nominations and stuff. So only to the top from here, guys. <laughs> Don't let that's nothing real. hold you back. No, that's real, man. There's a lot of positivity in this in this interview here. So draw some of that, you know what I'm saying, and take it and utilize it and use it in your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Try to be a little bit more positive as opposed to negative or whatever else. Just switch things around, you know what I'm saying? Make it real. Make it about you. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, my brother, my brother. Well, it was a pleasure, bro. I think the last time we had an interview it was the other way around, and you were. Hey, Planet you, Bob, you the days, like, yeah, homie. Back, yeah, way back, man, way back. Things were a little bit different. Dang. A little bit different, yeah. I can't wait to friggin' can't wait till you post this shit, man. It's gonna be lit. Thanks, Thanks again so for having man. me on this, man. This is blessed. Hey, it's all good, man. Real shit. Like I said, he was the first Canadian artist that I came across. You know what I'm saying? You opened me up to a whole fucking scene out there. So, yeah. I got to do something. Everybody in Niagara fucks with Obesey Beats. Let me tell you. Everybody in Ontario almost fucks with Obesey Beats. He's, this is his home. He's got to move here. You guys, Literally. I'm going to make a poll, a GoFundMe. <laughs> We're going to get Obesey over here. GoFundMe. <laughs> Bring Obesey to Canada. That would be dope. I was already having a chat with a couple of people from uh, from Niagara, and um, it's in the works, bro. It's in the works. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Oh no, yeah, man. Anyway, don't have you out here. Hey, it's gonna be dope, real shit. But anyway, that's it, everybody. This is this week's artist interview, the Old Easy Beats Vlog with Pluto Han. Mad love for everybody turning up. Real talk. Thank you very much again, my brother. Real talk. Well. Real, real no talk, worries, man. man. Thanks again for having me, man. Hey, it's Yo, check me out. That'll be it. That'll be it. Salute. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, I don't fuck with you hoes Pop a cold shoulder, wipe that slime up off your nose Cause I run up and take all your clout like Dennis the Menace I will send that rubber band snapping, I'm some under edges There's no overlapping, beat the pussy up, put it down for a nap Don't really like talk, shut, yeah, put that booty on my lap Rewind, pause, fast forward it back Bitch, make that big booty clap, shorty make me bust up this Cause I run up and take all your clout like Dennis the Menace I will send that rubber band snapping, I'm some under edges There's no overlapping, beat the pussy up, put it down for a nap Don't really like talk, shut, yeah Put that booty on my lap, we won't pause Fast forward it back, bitch make that big hey, booty clap Oh, 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 o